Welcome! This tutorial will help you get ready for your library workshop. In it, you'll learn about the information timeline and how information evolves into different types of sources. You'll learn why one type of source might be better than another for your research topic. Then you'll be able to develop a research plan. Before you dive in and start searching, it's important to take some time to think about what you're looking for. Many types of sources are available, and each is unique in the kind of information it provides. One helpful thing to consider before you start looking for your sources is the information timeline. The information timeline helps you see how information evolves into different types of sources as time passes, and how information gets used as it is published. Think about an event like voting day of a presidential election. As the event unfolds, social media such as Twitter and Facebook tell you about it moment to moment. Go to Twitter, Facebook, and other social media sites to learn about events as they happen. Other websites such as online news sites update very quickly and can also tell you about events as they occur. Information in web pages is easy to update and you'll notice changes as an event unfolds. The day or day after an event, news media such as print newspapers and broadcast television report on the event. Newspapers are a daily chronicle of information from around the world, and a newspaper in one location might report something differently than in another. Editorials and op-eds in newspapers provide researched viewpoints that are good for constructing or supporting an argument. In the week or weeks after the event, magazines will cover the event with more depth and analysis. Magazines, published weekly or monthly, contain journalistic reporting with a bit more depth than newspapers. Magazines often have a specific focus, like music, sports, or economics. A few months after an event, scholars begin to publish original research related to the event. These articles will be published in scholarly, peer-reviewed journals. Scholarly articles, written for other scholars, have a disciplinary focus, like political science or black studies. In about a year after the event, sometimes sooner, information on the event will be written, edited, and published as books. Print and electronic books provide depth that other sources may not. Books are excellent sources for historical perspective on a topic. And often, book chapters are focused on one element of a topic and can stand alone as a source, so you don't necessarily have to read a whole book if you're using it as a source. Other specialized books, such as encyclopedias, will be printed or updated with information about the event a year or more afterwards. Encyclopedias often have a subject focus and can be found in the library's reference collection. These sources are great for factual background information on a topic and are a good place to start your research. So think about the information timeline and how information evolves as you plan your research. Different sources are good for different types of information. Now that you know about the information timeline and different types of sources, you can search for sources that are best for your topic and your assignment. What kind of information do you need? And in which source type can you find it? Before you start searching, make a list of the types of sources you think you need. And if you still need help, ask a librarian.